hit and killed a man riding his bike on Sunday morning, and then he kept driving on Oil Well Road east of State Road 29 in Collier County. Now, these pictures show that white Chevy truck, and you can see if you look closely here, the hood is clearly damaged. It was breaking news here on Wink News, and we showed you that this video as it was going right down the road, right there. Now, Wink News reporter Liz Byro joins us live on Oil Well Road. And Liz, are you getting a better idea of how this happened? Yeah, Lois, that security camera video that captured the white pickup truck pre collision was taken from this BP gas station. And as you could see in that video, the driver was headed this way east. The bicyclist headed in the same direction, according to the crash report, means that man was hit from behind before he was left for dead. Take a look at your screen. New images show the newer model white Chevrolet pickup truck suspected in a deadly hit and run. This is the truck after. Troopers say the crash happened Sunday morning around 745. The right bumpers slammed in. This is the bicycle after. The rider, a 64-year-old man from Ave Marie, killed in the collision. Um, there's no bike lanes and many different speed limits. It happened around the intersection of Collier County's Oil Well Road and State Road 29, an area neighbors call dangerous. A lot of people drive 10, 15 miles over, 20 miles over the speed limit, and it's just a lot of crazy drivers. Pablo Villa lives down the road, told me bicyclists frequent the roads most Saturday and Sunday mornings. You know, when I see them, I cringe, you know, because they normally ride bike this way and then you're driving this way, so Gotta got to move to this lane, but the car's coming that way. I mean, it's just scary. The poor gentleman who was hit and then left for dead yesterday um, was hit from behind, and that's the leading cause of, or the leading type of crash. Michelle Avola Brown is the executive director of Naples Pathways Coalition. I am leading the charge to make it safer for people to be able to bike and walk in Collier County. In 2021, the Collier County Sheriff's Office launched its pedestrian and bicycle safety campaign. State Road 29 made its list of the most common areas for serious or fatal traffic crashes involving pedestrians and bicyclists. But Avola Brown says the problem is not just this road. In Florida, it's all roads. Florida has the awful distinction of having the most pedestrian fatalities of any state, as well as the most cyclist fatalities of any other state. On average, nine people die on Florida roads every single day, and six of those fatalities are attributed to distracted driving. The video of that pickup truck is on our website for you to take another look. If you have any information, reach out to FHP or Crime Stoppers. Live in Collier County, Liz Byro, Wink News.